Here we go. Okay, so let's find mountain pose. Feet grounded, spine long, breath moving. So just nice fullness of breath here. And we want to make sure we have space for new things, right? Our seeds of intention that we're going to plant. So we'll do a couple of cleansing breaths here, just from mountain pose, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And just do that two more times. A nice cleansing breath. And now that we've made some space, we're going to start drawing energy up from the earth and bring it in. So go ahead, inhale, arms up, palms touch, and draw that energy to your heart. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, energy to your heart. And one more time, inhale, reach all the way or just as high as your shoulders are instructing you to go and bring that energy into your heart. Now stand in mountain pose with your hands at your heart and either defocus, you could close your eyes if you want, or just defocus and think about what it is. What intention are you planting? And then draw your fingers up to the sky, exhale, arms down. And let's move around. Okay, let's get those legs moving this morning with a little forward and back stepping. So starting with the right, arms up, right foot forward, right foot back, arms up and down. Nice gentle opening for the shoulders as well, getting the energy moving, waking the legs up. And then come back to center and go left side. So just a nice little forward and back, warming things up, opening things up. It's kind of nice movement for the hip too. Three, two, and come back. To standing here. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do our cats and cows now with the hands on the thighs. So take your feet a comfortable hip width distance apart. Okay, bring your hands to your thighs. We're going to bend and straighten the knees a few times, just making sure that they know the process, what's happening here. Now hands to the thighs. Roll into your cat and open to cow, cat and cow. So the hands are staying in place here. And we are bringing balance to the spine, forward and back. And the next time you're forward, just hold here, roll your hands up your legs, roll your shoulders back and come back to mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. All right, shake it out a little bit. So uh, we're going to do a tilt and a twist. So just let your left hand be gentle on your left leg. Take your right arm up and with the shoulders stacked, tilt to the left. Come on up and open the arms, twist to the right. Arms up right hand down, tilt to the right, feel that left side start to open, right arm up, open gently, twist to the left. So we're waking this move up, we'll go a little deeper in a, in a bit, tilt left, twist right, try to keep those hips forward, 
Inhale, up, tilt right, yeah, beautiful. And twist left. Take it up, tilt left. And twist right. Take it up, tilt right. And twist left. And bring it up, bring your arms down for a minute. Shake things out, okay? And we're going to go into each of those for longer, take them a little deeper. So now, make sure the feet are squarely on the mat, really rooted here. Because when you go into a tilt, if your leg starts to lift, you lose that extension in the spine. So let's take the right arm up, slide the left hand gently down the left leg. Stay here, release a little bit, and come back. To the left, release a little bit and come back to the left, release a little bit and stay here to the left, float your left arm up, inhale and exhale, now take your right shoulder behind you, shine your heart up to the sky, come back to center and up, okay, we're going to twist to the right, the hips are still forward, the arms are long. Inhale, put length in the spine by taking the ribs away from the hips and twisting from the torso. Turn your gaze to your right fingertips. And on your next exhale, turn your gaze to the left. And as you look left, reach a little more forward with the left arm. And then on your exhale, turn your gaze to the right and reach a little more behind you with the right all right, now bring it up. Inhale, we're going to tilt to the right. Stay here, release a little bit, tilt right. Release a little bit, tilt right. Release a little bit, tilt right. Stay here with that left foot planted. Let the right arm float up. Left shoulder back, heart shines up toward the sky. Come back to center, arms up, hips stay forward, twist left. Inhale, put length in the spine. Take your twist a little deeper if that happens for you. Take your gaze to your left fingertips. And as you exhale, turn your gaze to the right. Reach with those right fingertips. Inhale, as you exhale, take your gaze to the left. Reach with the left fingertips. Inhale, up, and we're going to let the knees and hips bend as we take the arms down and up. So it's like gently flowing in and out of chair. And then we're going to stop here with the knees bent, the knees and hips bent, the arm shoulder height. Inhale and exhale. Press through the legs, lift the arms, inhale. Exhale back to mountain pose. All right, let's just breathe into that. Bring your hands to your heart. Defocus or close your eyes. And see if you can feel the energy moving through you. See if you can feel some spaciousness for your intention to grow. Bring the arms up, inhale, exhale, hands down by your side, and shake it out. Okay, all right, we're going to come to the top of the mat and start to work our way down. All right, so find mountain pose at the top of your mat. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, we're going to keep the spine long, fold from the hip creases, bring the hands to the thighs, and just start to roll down. And just stop when your legs or your body is just instructing you, that's where I want to go right now in this forward fold. So just take your fold to where you want it. Bend the knees and hips, now bring your hands to your thighs, shine your heart forward and sink everything down, take your hands down, and 
Come back to down dog. Of course, you could be doing dog on the wall with your hands on a chair, right? All those variations. Let's bend one knee and then the other. Take one heel down and hold. And switch. Take the other heel down and hold. And now take both heels down and hold. Let's get the knees to the mat at the same time. Sit off to the side and find seated mountain pose. Flexing the feet long through the spine. Okay. Feeling the sit bones even on the earth. Inhale and exhale. All right, and let's shake things out. So we're going to be working um, on dead bug this morning. So it's a combination of hip movement and core. All right, so let's come on down. Feet hip width. Spine at rest. Okay, we're going to start with both feet on the mat and just keep your hands where they are for now. Just extend your right leg. Now, when the right leg is extended, the heel is two to three inches off the mat. It's not all the way down. Bring the right uh, leg in, extend your left leg. Same thing with the heel, it's two to three inches off the mat and bring it down. Okay, we're going to go back to that and we're going to do a little experiment. Take your right leg long, the heel is lifted, right? Now, point your toe and start to raise that leg. Notice what's happening in your core. The higher you bring the leg until the leg is vertical. Now, with your leg vertical, is the core really doing anything here? A little but not as much as when the leg is lower. So now flex your right foot and start to bring that heel down. Notice what happens in your core as your leg gets lower and lower, coming two inches off the mat, and bring the right foot in. So that's why we go to that point, right? Okay, so let's go ahead, left leg forward, heel is two inches off the mat. Point your toes and start to bring that left leg up. And notice, maybe you notice that the higher the leg goes, the less the core needs to work. So now we're vertical, flex your left foot and observe as the leg comes down slowly, what happens in the core? And that left heel hovers and bring it in. So let's open and close those knees a few times. So remember when, it, when we bring our leg forward, we wanna have it as low as possible so that we get the most core action. All right, so starting with two feet on the mat, we're going right leg forward, left arm back. Bring the foot down and the right, uh, left hand back to your side. Left leg forward, right arm back, and bring it down. One more time like that. Right leg, left arm, and down. Left leg, right arm, and down. Okay, now we're going to do it with the left foot down, right knee up. Right leg, left arm, Knee in and again, right leg, left arm, and up, bring the hand and foot down, left knee, right arm, extend, and in, extend, and in, and release. All right, so that's the single knee option. Now we're going to try double knee option. The knees are right over the hips. The shins are parallel to the earth. Don't let your legs drop like this. Let's do that experiment again. Let your legs drop, notice your core, and then bring your shins to parallel. Notice what it does for the core. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go right leg, left arm, and in, right leg, left arm, and in, and left leg, right arm. 
and in, left leg, right arm, and in, bring it down. Those are our single leg versions. Pick one of those, feet down, or right knee up, or two knees up. We're going to go four times on the right. Okay, so remember, it's feet down, just the right knee up, or both knees up, your choice, four times, right leg, left arm. It's extend, and in, extend, and in, extend, and in, extend, and in. All right, go ahead and hug it in from wherever you are. Rock a little bit, pick your position. We're going to go four times on the left. Two feet to the mat, left knee, two knees, and left leg, right arm. And in, extend, and in, extend. In. Remember the placement of the leg. And in. One more. And in. Bring the feet down. Open and close the knees. All right, we're going to do double leg versions of that now. If at any point doing both legs at once doesn't feel right to you, you'll go back to alternating. So let's start with two feet on the mat. Remember, when we extend the legs, the heels are two inches off the mat arms and legs, and in, arms and legs, one more time, and in, double knees up, arms and legs, and in, arms and legs, and in, and rock side to side. All right, is everybody ready? If you don't want to do double leg version, you're going to do two on the right and two on the left. We're doing it four times. Feet down or knees up, arms and legs for one. Arms and legs for two. Arms and legs for three. And last time. And in. Hug it in, rock side to side, inhale and exhale. All right, so we did a lot of core work. We also did a lot of moving the hip, right? But it was mostly forward and back. So let's get that hip moving in a couple of other directions. Don't worry, we'll do standing obliques. Help me to remember that, okay? All right, so we're just going to take the right leg in, hold on to the hamstring. Plant your left foot, keep that nice and steady, and let that right leg open out to the side and back to center. So we did forward and back opening of the hip, and now we're doing side to side, side to side. And we're just coming to the right and back to center. Now we're going to extend the left leg any amount, take that left hand outside the right leg, Take the right arm out by your side, and keeping your right hip down, take that right knee just past the belly button. Okay, so we're starting to get a nice stretch in the outer hip here. Okay, now take your gaze towards your right fingertips. Keep your right shoulder grounded, but let your right hip come up as you take your right knee over to the left. So it's farther over to the left. It's a combination, twist and hip opener. And then as you come back through center, let your right ankle slide across your left thigh. Bring your legs in towards you and just move around. Okay, you can go in a nice circle here. Just work in that right hip a little more. Side to side if you want, forward and back. We're just holding on to the right shin and letting those legs move around. Now bring your legs to center. Take your left leg straight up, point and flex the left foot. And circle that ankle. And just think about what your feet do for you and will do for you. And think real appreciation as you circle the ankle the other way. 
And then release, unwind, two feet to the mat. Let those knees gently open and close for a moment. And with the right foot down, we bring the left knee in, hold on to the hamstring, and let that knee just open out to the left and back to center. All right, bring the left leg back to center. Let that right leg straighten whatever amount it wants to. Take your right hand outside the left leg, left arm out to the side, and draw your right knee just past the belly button. Now take your gaze towards your left fingertips, keeping the left shoulder down, letting the left hip lift. Take your left leg over to the right. And then come back through center, left ankle across the right thigh. Draw your legs in towards you and let those hips move around. Just feeling how the left hip is feeling. And then coming back to center, extend your right leg and really focusing on that right foot point and flex. Circle the ankle one direction and the other. Yeah. All right, let's release, unwind two feet to the mat. Gently let those knees open and close. All right, take a moment to appreciate your feet, your hips here, and your core. They all just did a whole lot for you. Let's come to hands and knees. Okay, make sure you have enough padding under your knees and Remember your wrists, you could always be working at a wall. We're going to come into a nice strong knee down plank. Okay, so we want the spine to be long, not saggy, and push up. Take, take it down, press up, and hips toward heels. We're strengthening the arms here. Come into the plank, take it down, press up hips toward heels. One more time, plank, push up. Now come into child's pose. Make sure your forehead is resting, it's supported on, by something, either the earth or your hands. Could even be fists or a block. Be comfortable here. So the forehead is the center of your intuition. So when that's engaged, as it is right now, it's good to have a thought. Now let's think about the seed of intention or seeds, plural, that you're planting. Take a couple of breaths into that. And find your way into downward facing dog. Now start to take a journey, bringing the feet toward the hands. Take the feet a little wider as you come more toward the top of your mat. The feet are mat width distance apart. Bring your forearms to your thighs. Take your hands to your heart. Press through the feet. Inhale, fingertips up, and exhale into a mountain pose. All right, let's take a couple of breaths here. Feel the energy engaged and moving. So we're going to be doing low crescent lunge in our sun salutation, drawing the arms back. So once again, this involves the knees, 
We're going to make sure that there's enough padding for the knees. If you don't have anything to put under your knees, but at some point you feel like you uh, want or need some extra padding, just flip the edge of your mat over. Okay, we're going to come to the top of the mat here. Starting sun salutation. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over straight legs. Inhale, bend at the knees and hips as you shine your heart forward for half lift. Bring the fingertips down. Step back with your right leg, be in a lunge. Now bring your right knee down, it's behind the hip and come up into low crescent lunge, drawing the arms behind you. Feel that nice stretch in the front hip flexor. Bring your hands down, come into plank, knee up or down plank, your choice. And chaturanga down, keep it strong. All right. Pointing the toes behind you, bring your hands by your side. We're going to be moving into locust position here. So take your shoulders toward your ears, down your spine. Take your palms up toward the sky as you shine your heart forward. And release. And now we're going to do that same thing. Lift the heart and add the legs. and release. Hands under the shoulders, find your way to downward facing dog. Okay, remember your dog can always stay at table. You can do it at the wall, on a you know, with your hands on a chair. Inhale and exhale. We're going to take the right leg up to hip height. Take a step forward, big as you can with the right foot. Bring the left knee down and then arrange your body with the uh, right foot well forward, right knee over the right ankle, left knee behind the hip and come into low crescent lunge, arms back. Yeah. Good. Bring the hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Now we're going to engage all the muscles of the body and take a giant step forward. When you get there, half lift. Straight leg forward fold. Let your hands roll down your legs and you decide where this is going, right? You could be higher, you could be lower. All right, and from here we're going to float the arms out and up. Palms touch and hands come heart center. We're going to do that on the left. So let's come feet hip width distance, finding mountain pose. Okay, so it's the same sequence. So we're just going to be nice and soft and smooth, flowy through it. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale into your swan dive. Inhale into a half lift, bring the fingertips down, lunge back, left leg. Back knee down, low crescent lunge. Hands down, plank. Yeah, chaturanga. Hands by your side, palms face up, arms and legs locust, heart shines forward. Release, and one more time, arms and legs locust, heart shines forward. Good, and release, down dog. Left leg lifts, left foot forward. Arrange yourself for a low crescent lunge. Take your time. Left knee is over left ankle. 
Right knee is behind the right hip. Hands down, back knee lifts, muscles engage. Feet come to the top of the mat, half lift, forward fold. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. Good, and hands come front center. All right. So as promised and before I forget, we're going to do some standing obliques. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the feet wider than hip width distance with the toes turning out. Bless you. Okay, so here we go. Down and up with the knees. We're um, making sure that the feet are in good contact with the mat and when we bend, the knees go over the toes. Okay. All right. Let's bring the hands to the heart here with the um, palms facing down, fingertips close. Bend at the knees and turn to the right and come center. Now extend the arms as you twist to the right and come center. Straighten the legs, bring it down. We're going to the left, elbows to the left, long arms and take it up. Now we're going to bend and straighten the legs each move. So go ahead, bend, twist right, come center, straighten, twist right, long arms, center, straighten to the left, and up, long arms, and up to the right, and up, long arms, and up to the left, and up, long arms, and up to the right, and up, long arms, and up to the left, and up, long arms, and up. Okay, let's give those arms a rest here for a second. We're going to go to the right and stay there, and we'll open and close four times. Okay, so here we go. Hands to the right, knees bend. We stay here now. Open the arms and bring the fingers in. Open and in. That was two. Open and in. Open and in. Last time, center and up. To the left, out and in. Out and in, three and in, and four and in. Reach up, inhale, exhale down. All right, let's heel, heel toe those legs or just bring them together, shake them out. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to work on a balance now. So we really want the feet hip width distance apart, nice and square on the mat. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, and we'll do tree this morning. So the trees are helping us so much. Everybody now has a yellow car, right? So in honor of our yellow cars and the trees helping us with that, we're going to do tree pose. So come to standing. So we want a steady gaze, right? Find a spot that isn't moving. Bring your hands to your hips. Calm mind. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And let's experiment with our balance this morning. Take your right heel up. Turn your right knee out and kickstand your heel to your left leg. Okay? So start to see how that feels. Can you be strong on your left leg? Is that left foot staying nice and planted? And let's release. All right, here we go. Drishti, steady gaze. Left heel up, left knee out, left heel to the right leg. And bring it in. All right, so we just gave the body kind of a signal. Yes, we'll be doing balance. All right, hands to hips, right knee out, right foot comes to the left leg somewhere. 
If that's not a good place with the foot lifted, you can always just keep those toes gently on the mat, hands to the heart. Yep, coming in and out of balance is great for the body. Trains it that we can be unstable and come back to stability, right? Good, and release. All right, we're standing straight and tall. Left knee out, left foot to the right leg. Tree pose, hands to heart. Good, and release, shake it out. All right, so we're going to add a little motion to this if that feels okay to you. If not, just come into what does feel okay. Let's move into tree on the right, and then extend the right leg, woo, and in. <laughs> extend and in, extend and in, and release. Woo. Let's try that on the left. You might have one side that's more cooperative than the other. I certainly do. Here we go, left hand, tree. Extend and in, extend and in, extend and in, and release. All right, if you want to keep moving, we're going to add some arms to that movement. If you want to, just stay with the leg, that's fine. If you just want to stay in a steady tree, just do steady tree. Okay, we know where we're going, so let's go tree on the right here and extend and in, extend and in, yes, extend and in, let's do one more, and in, and come to standing, okay, here we go, tree on the left, you're perfectly welcome to stay here, or extend, 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 one last time, and come back to standing. Now find mountain pose, and with two feet firmly on the earth, just see what feels are happening for you. What is going on? What are your feet doing? Oh, let's calm the mind again. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Taking a few breaths into spaciousness here. Inhale and exhale. All right, so we're going to shake things out and go back to this wider than hip width distance. Okay, you might need to turn sideways. You might be okay with your feet mat width distance or your feet might be off the mat if you want them a little uh, wider or you could turn sideways, hands to the hips. Square the feet, knees over toes. We've been here before. We know where we want the knees to go. Yep. Yeah. And now we're just going to do a very gentle brush hands. So inhale the arms up, and as you bend your knees, draw your hands like you're brushing them down a wall. Inhale up, and brush hands down. And the next time you're up, stay here, bring your hands down. We're going to do that to the right. So turn your left toes in at an angle, turn your right toes to the right, turn and face your right leg, draw the arms up, and bend your right knee as you brush hands down over the right leg, and up, brush hands down, and up, we're moving, yeah, to the right. And one more time, and up. Turn it back to center with both toes facing out. 
Brush hands down through center and up. Maybe you can feel the energy as your hands go down and lifting up. And now we're going to turn to the left, left toes to the left, right toes in at an angle, arms up, bend over that left leg and up, brushing hands to the left. And one more. Come center and just brush hands four times up and down. Just find a pace that feels good to you. Whew, and when you're done, bring your hands to your hips. Heel toe your feet together. Shake out those legs. Inhale and exhale. All right. So we're going to do um, a little bit of um, uh, wide leg forward folding, okay? So we definitely want the legs wide this time, as though we were going into triangle or warrior two. And the toes face forward or even slightly angled toward each other. Bring your index fingers to your hip creases. And with a very long spine, Try and keep the hips right over the ankles as you bring yourself forward. Now, if you want to stop with your head higher than your hips, stop there. If you want to go halfway, go halfway. If you want to continue, continue. We're keeping the spine long, the legs long. And now from wherever you are, let your hands come to your legs. So if you're high, your hands will be high. If you're medium, your hands will be medium. If you're low, your hands will be low. And just take some rest here. Feel some lengthening of the spine here. From wherever you are, hold on to the back of your legs now. Okay, so high, medium, low, hold on. And try and come up, but have your hands holding so that you're being resisted here. It's a resisted lift. Now, let your elbows bend out to the side as you bring yourself back into your forward fold. Notice the back of your legs here. One more time. Resisted lift. From here. Elbows out. So when you take your elbows out, it helps you come deeper. And when you resist, it helps to wake up all the um, muscles. Uh, all right, let's go ahead, bring the hands to the hips. We're going to come halfway up, press through the feet, and come the rest of the way up. All right, so we're keeping the legs wide here, and we're just going to um, loosen things up. So let your knees bend this time, as you start to come forward. And when you get to where you're going, bring your hands to your legs, to the front of your legs now or wherever. Your hands might even be touching the earth and just move side to side. You can feel your inner thighs working as you do this. Now the next time your left leg is extended and your right knee is bent, just hold here and maybe walk your fingers a little more to the right, toward the right foot as far as you want to go. And then come through center, extend your right leg and bending at the left knee, walking those hands to the left. And coming back to center. Now with straight legs, bring your hands to your hips. Come halfway up. And slowly come the rest of the way up. Okay? We're going to heel toe. The legs are super wide. We're going to heel toe them back toward each other. 
and shake out the legs. Now let's let the whole body just go ahead and move into whatever feels good to it as we start to prepare to come back down to the earth. So take any final movements while you're standing that your body is looking for. And look around your space if you want to have something to cover up with or a pillow under your knees for final relaxation or whatever you want. Have that with you. Bring it close in towards your mat. And then we'll meet in mountain pose at the top of the mat. Turn your palms forward, line everything up, and just feel the breath moving. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Coming into one final half lift here, shine the heart forward. Bring the hands down and come into downward facing dog. If you've had enough dogs in this practice, bring your knees down, it's okay. And we're going to take the knees to one side, hips to the other. If you're in table, it's just gonna be hips. We're just wiggling here. And then come back to center. Bring your knees down and sit off to the side, coming into seated mountain pose here. Okay, so we're going to elongate the spine as we inhale and elongate it even more as we exhale. So the feet are flexed. Imagine that there's a feather sitting on top of your head. Hands by your side. Draw energy up from the earth. Inhale, float the arms up. That feather's still there. Turn your palms out and as you exhale, Press the crown of your head into that feather. Feel your spine getting longer as your arms come down. Fingertips tap down. And one more time, palms up to start with. Inhale, lengthen up. Turn your palms out and as you exhale, press into your feather, lengthen the spine. Fingertips tap, tap down. All right, let's shake everything out. Inhale and exhale here. Okay, so we did some inner thigh opening and we're going to take advantage of that right now. With your legs in a V, take your right foot to your left thigh. Okay, if your knee doesn't like that because it's a strong angle, you can take your right foot farther down the left leg, okay? Inhale and exhale here. Now turn forward, bring your fingertips to the earth, flex your left foot and start to walk forward. Keep your gaze past your fingertips. And bring it up. Okay, we're going to switch sides, start out in a V, Left foot to the right leg, right foot is flexed. Fingertips are in front of the left shin with a long spine. Start to walk forward. Gaze past your fingertips. And walk it in. Now we're going to take the V position with both legs Okay, you can widen it a bit if you want, or you can keep it a little um, closer. Flex both feet, bring your hands in front of your pelvis, inhale, and start to walk the hands away. Keep the feet flexed here. Keep your gaze past your fingertips. and start to walk the hands back. Now we're going to come into cobbler's pose. So go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. The heels are far away from the pelvis to start with. 
okay? And then go ahead and start to slide, holding on to the shins, not the toes here. Start to slide your heels a little closer until you feel like you're in your version of cobbler's pose for today. We don't want the knees way up here, so we want the knees open. So if you, you brought your heels real close to your pelvis and your knees decided to do this, bring the heels farther away so the knees can be a little closer to the earth. If this isn't uh, feeling right to you, try putting six inches distance in between your feet and holding on to the shins with a super long spine, bring your fingertips to the earth, okay? And start to take those fingers forward. Once again, gazing past the fingertips. Spine stays long. And walk the hands back up. Okay, so we're going to um, put one hand under each knee, draw the knees up, take the legs straight, and give them a nice crazy shake here. Okay, so just releasing all of that. And let's roll down to the earth. Oh. Take a moment to feel the earth supporting you. Inhale and exhale here. All right, we're going to extend the uh, arms and the legs, inhale, and bring just the right knee in. Now, if that left knee decides it wants to bend a bit, let it. You're holding on to your right uh, shin or hamstring. We're in Ardha Apanasana, half wind removing pose. Just letting this hip further release. Now hold on to your right hamstring here. Take your right leg up, just any amount. Point and flex the foot and circle the ankle one direction and the other and release extend the arms and the legs this time the left leg comes in holding shin or hamstring think about that release that you're getting in your left hip and now hold on to the hamstring Take the left foot up any amount, point and flex. And circle the ankle one direction. And the other. Extend both arms and legs. Inhale, both knees in. Hold on to your hamstrings here. And just rock side to side. Nice little massage for the spine here. And now we'll take this into happy baby. Hold on to the feet. If the feet are not accessible right now, just hold on to the hamstrings. The feet are flexed and they're facing up like you're going to make footprints on your ceiling. And then from your happy baby, massage the spine. You're going to get a little different part of the spine than we just did. All right, bring the legs back together, bring the feet down to the earth, open and close those knees, little gentle butterfly wings, hands by your side, extend the fingers and wiggle into a fist, extend and wiggle. Really get those fingers moving. And then from your gentle fist, go ahead and rotate the wrists one direction. And the other, bring the hands down and let your head gently turn side to side. Releasing anything that might feel stuck in the neck. Come back to center and once again becoming aware of the earth under you start to take any other moves that your body might be requesting 
as we start to prepare for final relaxation. You might want to experiment, see how it feels with legs straight, knees bent. How are you more at peace, more at rest? And then come into your final relaxation position. Inhale through the nose. And we're going to exhale slowly through the mouth. Releasing the body onto the earth, letting the earth support you, moving into final relaxation. Begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to the body, wiggle fingers and toes. And on your inhale, stretch. Exhaling, draw everything in. Give yourself a hug. Find your way over to a side and come gently into a nice, easy seat. As you turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit, thank and honor yourself for your practice and we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste.